Hey, welcome back to Poppy. We are in chapter 12. What Poppy learns. Don't stab me. Oh, sorry. Don't stab me. Poppy cried through chattering teeth. Don't kill me. Aerith blinked. What? He said. Poppy staggered forward, fell to her knees. Held up her paws and bowed her head. Don't eat me, she implored. Implored means back. Don't eat me. What the lice lips are you talking about? Aerith asked with genuine bewilderment. Poppy gazed up tearfully. If if you're going to kill me, do it quickly. Just just don't torture me, please. Why would I want to torture you? Be because that's, that's what porcupines do when you catch mice. You torture them and eat them. <gasps> eat mice? Aerith exclaimed. Hit the puke switch and duck. Meat disgusts me. Revolts me. I'm a vegetarian jerk. I eat bark. Bark? You saying I'm a liar? The porcupine roared. Well, no, except... Except nothing. I'm kind. I'm gentle. I'm old. All I want is to be left alone. You, you won't eat me? Gotta be honest with you, if a porcupine is that close to me, I'd be concerned too. Yeah. Maybe for a different reason, but especially when he's that much bigger than me. Yikes, baby. Now, now, does this thing bring back, this makes me think of ragweed. I'm making a connection to ragweed, because ragweed said too long war. How in the world can an owl not know the difference between a mouse and a porcupine? Like, that's, like, that, you know, that's kind of like when you're looking at the football field and you're going, which players are mine? And usually, or, or you, like, look at the height, right? And you're like, oh, that person looks a little short, or that person looks, and that person is, and which ones were my former students? And a lot of times you can tell just by if you're familiar with the back of them. You can know who it belongs to when you're f walking behind them, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, yes, the jerseys have the names on it. But what I'm saying is, like, if you've ever followed somebody down the hallway enough, you usually know who's who, right? Yeah. You know when you're following Mr. Fitz versus when you're following Mr. DeRosa, right? Yeah. I don't eat meat. Aerith bellowed into Poppy's face. Poppy gulped. She was beginning to feel very foolish. Well, she offered lamely, everybody thinks you do. Well, then, everybody eats grasshopper gas. They do. How many times do I have to tell you, Aerith screamed, I don't eat meat. But, but, Poppy stammered, didn't you just eat? eat that fox are you crazy or something all i did was swat him with my tail which i do which is what i do when creatures get fresh with me what, what about shooting your quills poppy asked or stabbing with them where did you hear that bat bulge ah i was taught poppy that's your name right Quills are hair, barbed hair. I can't shoot my quills, though they fall out easy enough. The only way a quill gets into you is because I slap you. Which I'll do if you mess with me. Mind when a quill gets in, it swells. Flex your muscles to get it out and the barbs draw it in deeper. Hurts like the Red Hots want to see for yourself. No, no please, no. Please, I, I believe you, Poppy cried. I, I just didn't know that. Really, I'm, I'm sorry. Probably isn't your fault, Aerith grumbled in a somewhat softer tone. I suppose you get taught that garbage in school. Is that where she heard that garbage? No. Nope. We go to school at home, Poppy explained. Lectures and tests. 
Who's the world-class idiot who told you that porcupines eat mice? Poppy was about to say her parents when she suddenly realized something she hadn't thought about before. She began to speak, but fearful of saying the name, she held back. Well, demanded Aerith, who? Poppy leaned forward. Mr. Okax, she whispered. Okax, Aerith yelped. That great horned, horned owl, him? Poppy nodded. He told my parents, and they told us. Old Cax, Aerith said, and he began to laugh. <laughs> What's so funny? demanded Poppy. All right, um, Let me get this straight, Eris said. Okex told your folks that porcupines eat mice. Well, see, Mr. Okex protects us from porcupines. What's so funny about that? Poppy, Eris said between fits of sputtering laughter. <laughs> He's the one who eats mice. And if there's one thing that jerk of an owl is frightened of, it's me. You? Poppy cried with astonishment. Listen, Poppy, nobody messes with Arizon or Sordom, nobody. Fool with me and I'll shove a quill up your snooter. The only thing that old owl wants to protect is himself. Why, he wouldn't get within a log's length of me. I may be old and fat and have a foul mouth and smell, but I can shake my tail and put it in his face. Yours too. Want to see? Me neither. Alright. No, no, Poppy replied quickly. I, I believe you, Aerith. Really, I do. Protects you from porcupines, Aerith said with a sneer. <laughs> Frog flip. But if you believe that, what the worm water are you doing here? I, I was trying to get to Newhouse, Poppy explained. And honest, that fox did chase me. Aerith snorted. <laughs> But you said Okex told you to be scared of me. Is that right? Poppy nodded. Poppy, Eris said, running in here was smart. It was? Sure. The truth is you could walk by the side of a lake with no place to hide. If I were there, that jerk of an owl would do no more than look at you. Really, Poppy said, feeling a great sense of relief. If there's one thing I like, be besides being fat and sassy and prickly to the touch, it's going where no one wants me to go. Fact is, I'm one of the few creatures in Dimwood who can protect you. I bet that's the reason he says all that earwig juice about me. As for Newhouse, don't talk to me about going. Just go. I never tell anyone what I do. Don't, don't you have a family? Oh, I had parents and a wife for a while. There we even had kids. Quite a nice bunch. They all wandered off. We all go our own ways prickly. Don't, don't you miss them, Poppy asked? I like being alone. If I see a tree I want to climb, I climb it. Choose some bark, then go get, then get some sleep. Isn't there anything in the world you love? Really love? At the word of love, the look on Eris' face turned dreamy. He said, yes, he admitted, there is. Who is it? Not who, Poppy Salt. I can't get enough of it. I'm mad for it. I died for it. It's because of my liver, someone told me. I don't care. I love it. Rock salt, 
sea salt, sweat salt, any kind of salt. He licked his lips. Don't happen to have any on you, do you? I'm sorry, I don't. You were talking about new house. Do you have any idea what's there? That's what I need to find out. I'll tell you one thing that's there. What? A chunk of salt as big as me. Humans put it out for the deer. Can you believe it, deer? But it's on a high steel pole, so I can't get it. What a waste. Oh, but I do dream about it. I do. He closed his eyes. I think Ragley would have liked you, Poppy said with admiration. But even as she spoke, a great wave of exhaustion swept over her. Please, Aerith, would you mind very much if I, if I took a nap? Poppy, you can do whatever you want, but if I were you, I wouldn't sleep where you are standing. As I told you, it's my toilet, and it's too stinky even for me. Can you imagine finding yourself in someone's toilet and not realizing it's the toilet? Oh, we're out of, let's see. Um... I think it's going to be a no homework day, but that means tomorrow you're getting homework for Friday. Talk to you later. Bye.